Let's see. CM Punk comes out for a promo. He promptly calls out Eddie Kingston for some spectacular television. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life because, Kinda. I mean, it was awesome. Don't get me wrong. But we have a baby face, CM Punk, and we have another man who is also a baby face, Eddie Kingston. And these two baby faces are mad at each other. And they both cut promos on each other that result in both of them getting booed. <laughs> That's what happened. It's the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen. Usually if you have you have two heels and everyone hates both heels, or you have two heels and one of them decides in the fans side with one of them who ends up being a baby face, or you have two baby faces and they bury each other and the fans cheer. Here you had the fans booing CM Punk, which has never happened. They're booing Eddie Kingston. But they're also cheering for Eddie Kingston and cheering for CM Punk. It is it is fascinating to watch. Because both guys had uh, credible points to make. CM Punk is mad that Eddie Kingston got beat and threw a tantrum backstage and interrupted his promo time. That happened. That's why Punk is mad. So Eddie Kingston comes out and points out this goes back a long way about how he when he got started in wrestling, it was the... Legends, he didn't, never said the name Ring of Honor, but he mentioned Punk and Samoa Joe and Homicide and Amazing Red were his heroes, but he met his heroes and Punk judged him. He came into that locker room to get free from life in the streets and the life in his head and all that, and CM Punk judged him because he was fat or because he didn't kiss ass or he didn't bury other people, whatever. CM Punk judged him and let him down. That's why Eddie was crushed. Upon meeting his heroes. <laughs> That's right. They did move Punk one other time when he said cheesecake instead of cheese steak That's in true. Philadelphia. That is true. That is true. <laughs> so so Punk says, yes, I judged you. Brian Danielson also judged you. You can ask him. Homicide also judged you because we saw the potential of what you could be and you never lived up to that standard of what you could achieve because you're a bum. And those three little letters, B-U-M, yes. bum. This crowd in 2021 gasped. <laughs> Cannot believe he called him a bum to his face. That was a point where I had determined that CM Punk is a heel in this segment. But well, uh, listen, they did a promo segment with Punk. I don't know if it was, maybe, maybe it was even off TV. I don't remember, but somewhere he did an interview and he said something like, uh, the old me had an edge, or he said something. that He didn't say the word heel, but he said something, and then he said, you may see that again someday. And uh, I watched this segment here, and, and I thought that Eddie Kingston was going to turn heel. Mm -hmm. And I still feel that Eddie Kingston is going to turn heel. But absolutely, in this segment, CM Punk was a total heel, and Eddie Kingston was a total babyface. Absolutely. Because, man, if someone came up to me and they'd been they judged me my entire career... And, and everything that Eddie accused Punk of doing. And then Punk's response is, well, we did that because we saw so much in you. I'd be like, fuck you. That's f you're full of shit. That'd be my immediate reaction. Well, what about then when the guy, when Punk said to Eddie, you know, you're challenging me to match a full gear. Are you sure you're up to that? Maybe we should do darker elevation. That's more your level. Oh, horrible. Bury the whole roster. Mm -hmm. Most of them. I'll bury darker elevation. Well, yeah, but most of the roster that does is, at least I, something on there. That's a good point. Moxley's worked those shows. That's a good point, too, yeah. But, uh, yes, so this is what this was. See, I disagree that Punk was clearly a heel here. What he was was CM Punk. Well, that's now, true. If you think he that, was a dick. If you think he's acting like a dick, I, that's what the guy. That's what CM Punk acts like. So he was mad this guy interrupted his promo time, took his, took his, uh, his TV time away. So when he came out here and realized he's pushing buttons, yeah, he pushed more buttons to get the guy more, get the guy more mad because he was enjoying it. But then when Eddie returned fire and said he's going to make Punk quit again for seven years and Punk lost his mind and headbutted him, and they had the awesome pull apart afterwards. So the, the thing is, when this is all said and done, to a lot of people, CM Punk's going to be in the healless feud. And to a lot of people, Eddie Kings is going to be in the healless feud. But you care either way. Oh, man, I can't wait to see this match. Oh. And you know what's funny is they, they have brawls a lot on this show, but they rarely have the pull-apart where they send out all the geeks, and the geeks try to separate the two guys, and the guys break free and attack each other. You see it, I wouldn't say frequently, but way more frequently in WWE. Very overdone. And when you almost never see it, it's awesome. Well, yeah, so that, that definitely helps. You see it once or twice a year in AEW, but... 
listen, I have seen a lot of these pull aparts, and 95% of them aren't nearly this great. These men wanted to get at each other and hurt each other. And they had to be fought, bar, uh, held back by a dozen geeks. It was awesome. The best part of this is, and obviously part of it is because they they inserted real life into this promo. But in in 95% of promos, I just watched the promo. And perhaps it's bad. Perhaps it's good. But I'm mostly just analyzing the promo. I'm analyzing what they're saying. I'm thinking of why they're saying it and where it might be going and how the fans are reacting to it. This promo here, I was, like, into it. I just wanted to yell at the screen that Punk was full of shit. Like, they said these words that just, that just, they got into my soul, and I was so excited to see these two fuckers fight. Yes. I didn't chant let them fight at the TV, though. <laughs> I contained myself. They still have a week. That's true. The best part was that Eddie Kingston was so passionate, and he was... Showing emotion. His face was red. He was sweating. Oh, yes. He was spitting and snarling. This looked legit. Yeah. And it was, and you could feel it through the TV. And Punk taking the cheap shot, calling him a bum, headbutting him, another cheap shot. Um, I want to see Eddie Kingston get his hands on CM Punk. Great. That's fantastic. Perfect. That's fantastic. Eric Tyler Mullins wants to know, if you had no restrictions at all in your diet, what food would you love to eat over and over again? Ah, uh, cup of noodles is my favorite. Your choice is cup of noodles? Uh-huh. Not a steak or escargot? Nope. Cup o' noodles? Yeah, that's the only thing that doesn't upset my stomach. Well, I think the, the question, Granny, is if it didn't upset your stomach, if there were no consequences, you could just eat I'm, any I food. Still, I still say cup of noodles. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.